Once you understand the basics of how image resolution affects how you can present an image within your poster, it's actually very easy to add images. So on the insert tab you've got two options. You have pictures which is the option you choose if you wish to choose an image from your computer system and then online pictures for anything that you want to look for online. So we're going to look at pictures to start off with and if I just select that it defaults to my pictures folder on my C drive. So I've got two images in here that I want to use in my poster. At the moment I can't see the pixel dimensions so I need to right click anywhere on the metadata uh, header bar here and then choose dimensions from the drop down list. If you look at the image size in kilobytes here, you can see that these two images, one being a JPEG and the other a PNG, the size is actually very similar across both images. However, if you look at the dimensions of the images, they're substantially different. So the first image uh, at nearly 4,000 pixels would allow us to print that image at approximately 14 or so inches in height. Uh, the second image we would be able to print that uh, 850 pixels somewhere in the region of 3 inches and that would be um, across the width. So this serves to reiterate how important it is to look at dimensions and not at the file size itself since many factors will affect how large in kilobytes or megabytes an image is, not least the file format that you're using at the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the first image into my presentation. The size that this image has been placed in PowerPoint at is probably more or less uh, the size that I would want, but if I wanted to change it, I would just need to know the limit in terms of centimetres because that's my ruler measurement being used at the moment. I would need to know the limit that I could extend that image to. So to be accurate, I can just do a quick calculation here. So if I just pull up the calculator, if I program in the number of pixels contained on the longest edge of my image, quick rule of thumb is to divide by 300 uh, pixels per inch to make sure I've got a suitable high quality image for printing. That will give me the size in inches that this image could be um, scaled to. However, because my rule is in centimetres, I need to convert that. So if I just multiply by 2.5 that will show me the size in centimetres that I could ex extend this image to, so 32 centimetres or so. So I could program that into the height box at the top here, so it's more or less at maximum size anyway, um, but this will give me a much more uh, precise way of sizing my image. Um, if I want to do that in a more manual fashion, um, use the resize handle. So either of the uh, the corner handles or any of the four corner handles uh, will enable you to maintain the aspect ratio of your picture. If you use any of the middle resize handles then you'll end up stretching the image. So I'll just undo that. I'm going to contract that a little bit and then just place it in the top corner there. So if I just insert the second image, which is obviously much smaller, um, I've got about a 3 inch image here so I'm just going to roughly um, scale that down to something that I think will be appropriate. You don't have to be too accurate about this um, as long as you're somewhere in the ballpark um, that will be fine. So I'm just going to drop that in the bottom corner there. If you do want to add images from online sources you'll probably want to look for those first check them out, make sure the quality is right before you add them to your poster, but PowerPoint does give you the option of doing it uh, as you're creating your slide. So if I click on the online pictures option here, it's going to use a Bing image search to, let's just see if it will pull up an image of crayfish here, if I just press enter, lots of images of crayfish. And the important thing to bear in mind here is the copyright implications of the images that you're likely to, to find online. Nowadays PowerPoint actually filters things by something called Creative Commons and Creative Commons is a form of licensing which uh, a lot of photographers and people online will use with things like Flickr. So you can upload your photograph and attribute a Creative Commons license to it which gives other people the, um, the option of reusing your work without copyright implications. 
there are different types of Creative Commons license, so it's worth spending a bit of time researching that if you're going to use this for um, any purpose that's likely to get published or um, will appear in the public domain. So I'm just going to choose one of these images and then insert it into my presentation. And again, I can just resize that as I see fit. So essentially adding images to your presentation or your poster is very simple. The key thing really is going back to the idea that you need to understand the implications of image sizes, so how big you can afford to print something given the dimensions of that image. In the next video we'll have a look at adding text to your presentation.